The last question talk we cover in section 2 of the test is short answer. You read a question to which you have to write a short answer using information from the listening text. Actually, this is the only question type in the whole listening section in the form of a real question. A word limit is given, usually no more than three words and or a number. You should check this carefully for each task. Sometimes you are given a question which asks you to list two or three points. If you write more than the number of words asked for, you will lose the mark, even if your answer includes the correct word or words. Just as before, contracted words will not be tested. Contractions or contracted forms are short words formed from two or more words. The most common example is when we add not to an auxiliary verb in negative sentences. For example, we say don't instead of do not. And hyphenated words count as single words. Certain words and phrases tend to evolve from separation to linkage. When we link two words as a single word using a hyphen, we call it hyphenated word. Many candidates believe short answer questions are the simplest questions in the IELTS listening test. They are somehow right, because having the questions in question form helps us understanding the questions better. As you may have noticed so far, in other question types such as summary completion, we need to understand the real underlying question first, which is hidden behind the gaps. There is a small disadvantage with short answer questions though. Fortunately, it is very easy to manage. The issue is, since the short answer questions are lengthier by nature, it takes a slightly more time to read them during the 30 seconds we have. But don't worry, since they are easier to be understood, it is not that much more difficult to read and understand them in 30 seconds. The technique for finding the answer of short answer questions is, in the 30 seconds you have, read the questions and underline the keywords. As before, the keywords are the important words in the question which could change its meaning completely or partially. At the end of the 30 seconds, and when the recording starts, listen carefully and focus on hearing the keywords or information related to them. As you do that, your brain naturally becomes more alert and your subconscious helps you to identify them easier. When the audio approaches the critical part, the part including the information leading to the answer, listen carefully and try to understand it as much as you can. Understanding the information is different from hearing the information or hearing the exact words. You may miss a few words while are perfectly understanding the meaning of a sentence. So, don't worry too much. Focus on what is important on the pitch of the conversation and find the answer. When writing your answer, be mindful of the word limit and adhere to it all the times. Another thing that you should be careful about is spelling and especially capitalization. Capitalization is important in IS listening and failing to correctly apply it may lead to losing marks. The first letter of certain words should be written in capital, such as specific names, titles, months, days of the week, words implying a place such as a street or avenue, and titles of books, journals, or articles. Make sure that you always comply with the capitalization rules, as required by English grammar. I include useful resources for your further study in the supplemental section of this lecture.